In this video, we'll see how to work on the spelling and grammar. The topics given here are spelling and grammar, thesaurus, and also for the word count, the three topics we have. Let us start with spelling and grammar. By mistake, if you have done any spelling mistakes, word will help you to find those mistakes and give you the suggestion self. So I'll go with the first one. So this is the spelling. So what I've done is I've written some sentence here and purposely made the mistake. I'm just checking whether the word is capable of finding the mistakes and giving me some suggestions. So what I've written is, this is not a correct statement. I wanted to write that, but I've written something wrong. So what I'll do is I'll ask him to check the spelling. Uh, two methods, one is the long cut method and second is the shortcut. So I'll go to review tab and you see that's a proofing. I'll click on this spelling and grammar. So it gives me a floating dialog box. Here is spelling. So the other method is you can just press F7 from a keyboard and you'll get this dialog box. F7 is the shortcut to bring this spelling dialog box. So wherever my cursor was there, it started checking the spelling from that place. So it selected that text that is SI and it says SI is nothing a word. You see there's an underline done. It says these are the different words which you can use. So I say as I want this is and I can say as change. So that text is replaced by the word is. Second, it says as NQT, there's no word like NQT. You can use some other word that is not. Okay, I can say as change. The third one, it says the statement, the spelling is something wrong. So it, it selects statement and click on statement. And the last one, it says for THSI and it says, suppose I want to accept that, I can just click on this ignore or ignore all. Or if I want to select everything and accept all, so I can select this change all. Right now I'll say I want to say as change. So this way it says, okay, the spelling is corrected and it gave me proper sentence. The underline which was given there, it has been removed now. So it says all the spelling and grammar check is complete. So now it, your document is proper done. So this way it works spelling, right? So the next one I have that is thesaurus. Suppose I want to have one word, I'm not getting that word. I want something better word than that. I've written here as today is a beautiful, today is a beautiful day. So if I want some other word related to beautiful, what I can do is I can just keep my cursor at that place, right? I want some more different words. So I'll just keep my cursor and I can select this option as thesaurus and it gives me a dialog box, similar dialog box. And it says, instead of beautiful, you can use all these words related to, you know, depending upon what you're looking for. You can use lovely, attractive, good looking, gorgeous and so on. So let's say if I select here some word, uh, if I want some word, let's say if I want lovely from here, I can just click on this place like this and I can say as insert or copy either of the options. Insert means instead of this word, the text will come there as lovely or copy means if you want to insert some other sentence today is beautiful or today is lovely day, you can still write it. That is for copy. But now uh, if you observe here, that's one is lovely is given as adjective and at the bottom again, there are some other uh, things which are written. It can be a noun, pronoun and so on. But here it is given as adjective. So depending upon the word. Now if I want to insert, simple thing is you can just click on insert. If I click on insert, please observe here, insert. So that text has been replaced by some other word. So thesaurus words, uh, works when you want some more words with the related thing, right? So now the third one, spelling and grammar, and the third one is word count. If you want to count how many words are there in your sentence, in your entire word, you can just click on this word count, or you can click on this place that is 23 words. So if I click on this place, I'll get this dialog box. Or else, if you click here, still you'll get the same dialog box. Let us see what does this dialog box says. It says the number of pages five. So if you observe it, there are total number of pages five. How many words are there? 23 words. So here it is said as 23 words. How many character with no spaces? 122, with spaces 139 and so on. So it gives you the entire detail. And uh, once your de detail is done, you can click on OK. Close. Where it is used basically, uh, people who want to convert the languages from one language to another, they charge on per count or per word itself. So they count and they give the estimate to the client or the user itself, how much we have to charge them. So th those places it can work. So I hope you are able to understand how we can work on spelling and grammar, thesaurus and the word count. That's all for this video.